Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install Ubuntu 22.04 LTS version on Oracle VirtualBox on your Windows 11 operating system. So first of all, what is VirtualBox? So VirtualBox is a tool using which you can install any other operating system on your host operating system virtually. So for example, let's say I have this Windows 11 operating system. And on this Windows 11 operating system, I want to install Ubuntu virtually. Then VirtualBox enables me to run Ubuntu on my Windows 11 host virtually, right? So if you haven't downloaded VirtualBox, let me show you how you can do it. It's really easy. First of all, you can just search for VirtualBox on your favorite browser. And the first result which will appear here will be from virtualbox.org so I'm going to click on this link and straight away you will be able to see this big download virtualbox button so you can click on this uh, button or you can click on the downloads and then you can click on the windows host and it's going to download this kind of exe file and once this exe file is downloaded you just need to click some next button and it will be installed easily on your Windows 11 operating system. So I'm not going to show you how you can download VirtualBox because it's really easy. Once VirtualBox is downloaded, it's going to look like this. When you open it, it says Oracle VM VirtualBox Manager. As you can see, I have already installed some operating systems virtually. For example, Ubuntu 20.04, Windows 10 Pro, Windows 11 and now I'm going to show you how you can download and install and run Ubuntu 22.04, right? So once you have VirtualBox, the next thing you will require is the Ubuntu 22.04 ISO file. So let's download that. So for that, you just need to type Ubuntu on your favorite browser and the first link which will appear here will be from ubuntu.com. So we are going to just click on this link. And then under downloads, so just click on the downloads and then you will be able to see this 22.04 version here, right? So make sure you always choose the LTS version because the support for LTS version is longer. LTS stands for long term support, right? So the name says itself, right? So just click on this uh, green button which says uh, 22.04 LTS and once you click on this button you will see that this Ubuntu 22.04 ISO file will start downloading. Now this file is around 3.4 GB right so it will take some time to download. So after downloading the Ubuntu ISO file it's going to look like this right so it says Ubuntu 22.04 hyphen desktop hyphen amd64.iso now once you have the iso file and your virtual box let's see how we can install it on our virtual box using this virtual box manager so for that what you need to do just click on this new button here and then give the name to your machine i'm going to name my machine as uh, ubuntu and you can see virtual box is smart enough and it already selects us the type which is Linux and the version which is uh, Ubuntu 64 bit. If you don't see this uh, version here, you can just click on this drop down menu and you will be able to see this Ubuntu 64 bit uh, option. Now let me name my machine as Ubuntu 22.04 so I know that this is uh, the version which I have installed because I already have the other version of Ubuntu right and then you need to select the machine folder where you want to uh, save your VirtualBox VMs right so by default this is the default location you can also change this location by clicking on other and then you can choose where you want to save your machine right so let's say I want to save this machine on my uh, D drive so I'm going to just uh, select that and then select the folder and then click on next. Now on the next window, you will be asked to select the memory size. Now, what I generally do, 
I generally move this uh, scroll bar until the end of this green uh, mark, right? So here in between the red and green mark, right? So here until this green mark, it's okay. And this value depends on the memory size of your computer, right? So just select that and then click on next. Now on the next window, you can see uh, three options for hard disk. First one is do not add a virtual hard disk. Uh, second one is create a virtual hard disk now. And the third one is use an existing virtual hard disk file. I'm going to leave it as default, which is create a new virtual hard disk now and then click on create, right? In the next uh, window, you can see the hard disk file type. I generally leave it as default, which is VDI format and then click on next. Now on this next window also, uh, you can leave it as default, which is dynamically allocated. The other option is fixed size and you can see the difference between the dynamically allocated and fixed size. You can read this text. So dynamically allocated uh, disk uh, file will only use the space on your physical hard disk as it fills up, right? So it's dynamic. If you want to choose the fixed size, then the size will be fixed, right? So I will uh, choose the dynamically allocated and, and then click on next. On the next window, you can uh, choose the file location and size, right? So I have already uh, chosen this file location in my D drive. And then I can uh, also select the size of my virtual hard disk. Generally, I use around 100 GB for my virtual machines. So I'm going to move it to 100 GB and then click on create. And what it's going to do, it's going to create this virtual machine. But still, we haven't provided the ISO file path, right? So before starting this virtual machine, just select the virtual machine which you created for Ubuntu 22.04 and then click on settings. And here, you will be able to do some more extra settings for your virtual machine. So under general section, you can click on advanced here and then under shared clipboard and drag and drop, both are disabled by default. You can just make them bi-directional. This means that you can drag and drop from your Windows operating system to your virtual machine, which is Ubuntu. And you can also have a shared clipboard between them, right? Then leave the other two tabs as uh, it is and then click on the system uh, section here, right? Now in the system section, you can select the processors. So by default, VirtualBox uh, Manager allocates one processor for uh, the virtual machine. I can move it to uh, here. Maximum I can allocate, for example, in my machine, eight uh, CPUs, but uh, for now I'm going to allocate four CPUs for my uh, Ubuntu operating system. Now I can also do the settings related to display. Uh, I'm going to leave everything as default for now. And then when you click on storage, here you can provide the location of your ISO file. So you just need to click on this empty uh, disk icon and then you can uh, click on this empty disk icon again and then you just need to uh, browse go to the location where your Ubuntu ISO file is located. So you can see uh, this is my uh, Ubuntu ISO file. So I'm going to just select this ISO file and then click on open. And you can see this ISO file is now selected here, right? So once that's done, you can leave other settings uh, as default for now and then click on OK. And once you are done with all the settings, you can select your virtual machine and then click on start. So you can see uh, my virtual machine is starting. On the first window, you will uh, see uh, this kind of terminal. Here, you can just uh, use your up and down arrow keys to uh, move this selection up or down, right? So here I'm going to choose the first option, which is try or install Ubuntu and then uh, press enter. 
and now you can see the installation of Ubuntu will start. So first of all, in this installation process, you will see this kind of window. Here you can choose your favorite language. In my case, I'm going to choose English here. And then I'm going to click on the install Ubuntu option. So let me click on install Ubuntu. Now on the second window, you will be asked to choose your keyboard layout, right? So in different countries, uh, we can use different kind of keyboard layouts. So from here, you can select that keyboard layout. For example, in my case, I'm using German keyboard layout. So I'm going to uh, just select the German keyboard uh, layout from here. So let me select German here and I'm going to just select the normal German keyboard layout, right? And then I'm going to click on continue. Now on this next window, uh, you can see uh, this kind of message which says update and other software. What apps would you like to install to start with? So I'm going to just select the normal installation here. And then in the other options, download updates while installing Ubuntu. And I'm also going to select install third party software for graphics and Wi-Fi hardware and additional media formats, right? So check this checkbox and then click on continue. Now you will see this kind of window. So here some people get confused because here you can see this message, erase disk and install Ubuntu. But you don't need to worry about it. It's not going to erase anything from your host machine. It's just uh, the installation step. So for example, if you want to install Ubuntu on an actual hardware, then this step is valid. And uh, if you are installing Ubuntu virtually, you don't need to uh, worry about this uh, message, right? So just leave it as erase disk and install Ubuntu and then click on install now. And from here, you can choose uh, the region in which you are located. By default, uh, Ubuntu has recognized my approximate location, which is Berlin, which uh, is good for me. I'm going to click on continue. And then here you can provide some information about you and your machine, right? So your name. So I'm going to just uh, name my machine as code bind, for example. And then the computer's name will be this one by default, which is the name you provided hyphen virtual box. I generally uh, remove the virtual box from here because I uh, like to keep my computer name and my name as same. The username uh, will be uh, the same also. And then you can choose the password here. I'm going to choose a very simple password for now, uh, just for the demonstration but you might want to choose a strong password here and then you can click on continue and now the installation of ubuntu will start and uh, you just need to wait for some time until uh, this progress bar reaches to the 100 percent mark for each and every uh, tool and now at last you will see this message which says installation complete installation is complete you need to restart the computer in order to use the new installation so at this point you just need to click on restart uh, now button which is going to restart this ubuntu operating system so you can see it says please remove the installation medium and then press enter so at this point i'm going to just press enter here and now i can see my ubuntu operating system is restarting so as you can see uh, my ubuntu operating system has been successfully installed and now I can see uh, the login window here. So this is the username which I have uh, provided at the time of installation. So I'm going to click on this and then uh, the password I need to provide here is the password which I have provided at the time of installation, right? So I'm going to just provide the same password, press enter, which is going to log me inside my Ubuntu operating system. And now you can see my Ubuntu operating system has been restarted. And uh, first of all, when you start Ubuntu operating system for the first time, it's going to show you uh, this kind of message which says connect your online account here. 
for now i'm going to skip this and then uh, it says help improve ubuntu also i'm going to click on next here and then click on next and then click on done so now i can start using this ubuntu 22.04 lts version virtually on my windows 11 operating system and let me just maximize this uh, ubuntu operating system so that it will be the size of my windows desktop so when i do that you will observe that this window doesn't resize according to the size of my windows desktop so to fix this problem we need to install the virtualbox guest editions on our ubuntu operating system so for this what you need to do so you need to give these two commands before installing virtualbox guest editions so to uh, run these commands you can uh, always open the terminal just click on uh, this show applications icon and then uh, search for terminal and then open the terminal here and then you can uh, just uh, copy these two command uh, the first command is very simple sudo apt update so i'm going to uh, provide both these commands in the description of this video so you can always go to the description and and copy and paste these commands uh, in your ubuntu terminal so the first command is sudo apt update let me press enter and then give my ubuntu's password and then press enter which is going to uh, install all the updates and once that's done the second command is this one so let me just copy this and this command is sudo apt install hyphen y build essentials linux headers and then the username so i'm going to press enter here which is going to install uh, these two packages and once the second command is also finished then we can install the virtualbox guest editions and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to just click on this devices option here and then click on insert guest editions cd image and once you click on this option you will be able to see that this uh, cd image has been mounted so i can just click on uh, this uh, cd image icon here and here i can see a few files right so if it doesn't run automatically then what i can do here is uh, inside this folder where you uh, can see all these files i can right click here and then click on open in terminal which is going to open the mounted uh, virtual box guest editions uh, folder and here i will be able to see this auto run.sh file so i'm going to just uh, run this file which is auto run.sh which is going to start the installation of this virtual box guest editions so first of all you need to provide your password so i'm going to provide my password which i have given at the time of installation of ubuntu and then press enter and now it's going to start the installation of virtual box guest editions on your uh, ubuntu operating system and once that's done so at last it's going to show you this message press return to close this window so i'm going to just press enter here at this point and once that's done you need to restart your ubuntu virtual machine again in order to finish the installation of this virtual box guest editions so i'm going to just close this terminal and then i can restart my ubuntu operating system by just uh, clicking on uh, the top here where you can see these three icons and then click on power off log out option and then click on restart here and then click on restart once again which is going to restart your ubuntu operating system once again and now again i'm going to log in with my password here and now when i'm going to just uh, click on this uh, maximize button you will see that my ubuntu desktop is resized according to the size of my host machine in this case it's windows 11 so now you can use uh, ubuntu in a better way right so this is how you can install ubuntu 22.04 lts on your oracle virtual box on your windows 11 operating system i hope you've enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video